Hi everybody, I hope that you are fine. Uh, so today's episode is actually an invitation to be more kind to our bodies. This is why I have chosen this title. And this is not going to be uh, learn how to love your body, um, be more kind to your body just because people, the spiritual communi- community, you know, all of us are saying that you should be kind to that, like, you know, like if this is like a must thing that you have to do, like a chore. Uh, no, this is just going to happen naturally once you have this understanding. And this is why I have chosen this title. Um, your body is perfect the way that it is just because of the complex that it has left. Okay. So, um, Guys, what do I mean by this? So most of you know, and if you don't know, this is, you know, you'll know just now that I practice bio decoding, transgenerational, shadow work. My background is naturopathy and, you know, other things as well, but these are like the most important ones. Um, so if you never have heard of bio decoding or that maybe your body is trying to tell something to you, I would recommend you to watch my first video of the biodecoding 101 with Marta, which is what is biodecoding, okay? Because you'll get more of an idea of what I'm trying to explain. Or maybe one of my latest episodes, which has to do with uh, mirrors. Uh, So I think it's mirrors in depth, okay? So, okay, guys. Um... Most of us are just having a look at the illnesses or diseases that, you know, our body is expressing and most of us are just not happy about that. So let's say that, I don't know, that you had like a massive, um, I don't know, spot in your face, you know, and you are just looking at yourself in the mirror. And when you are looking at that part in your face, what do you think about that? You know, how do you feel about that? What are you telling yourself about that? But sometimes it's not even, you know, visible. So it could be that you can hear from any one of your ears. It could be that that you've got diabetes, it could be that you've got arthritis, it could be that you've got fibromyalgia, it could be that you have twisted your wrist, it could be that you lost um, one of your foot, it could be um, that that you are obese, okay? So, and I'm trying to be like so respectful with with everything, guys, because um, we need to be more of a friend with our body, with how it looks like, and with other people. Um, so sometimes we are, just, we are just, you know, criticizing others because of their body shape or because of how they look or because they don't have an eye or because, you know, and actually this even is um, like a deal breaker um, in order for someone to feel physical attraction to someone else or to start a relationship with someone else just because of that. So again, this episode is this invitation after the explanation that I'm going to give you to really be more kind with ourselves, with our bodies and obviously with other people's bodies and looks as well. Why? Because all of us, have lived or are living situations, um, conflicts, whatever, that we haven't been able to handle ourselves, okay? And then our best friend had to help us. Who is our best friend? Your body. Yeah, that's your best friend. Why? Because if you think of someone who has been always with you, who has witnessed everything that you have, um, who has heard everything that you have heard, tasted everything that you have tasted, etc., etc., it's been your body. So our bodies, guys, um, are really our friends. 
I know that this is difficult to accept, you know, especially, you know, um, if you are leaving something that it's not really nice, absolutely 100%. So most mm, probably you are just mad at your body, you know, like, why? Why do I have this now? You know, I had to be in this presentation. I had to look very well and boom, what are you doing here? You know, and you, you don't realize, we don't realize that this is how we are talking to ourselves. So first of all, I'm going to invite you guys to just mm, try to be separate for a second from your body and just visualize your body in front of you. So all of you just in front of you. You are not talking to nothing, guys. And again, the concept of energy that we are all connected, the unconscious, etc., etc. Okay. Um, you are actually talking to, if you want to, an energy field, okay, which happens to be physical. But this is like an energy field that you are having in front of you that it's actually you. So I know probably you have heard this before, like. All, all, all of us, like, how are we talking to ourselves? Maybe you happen to be one of these people who are just looking at you, not even in the mirror, you know, like to any disease, maybe you don't even have any disease, you know, and you just happen to talk to yourself with nice and kind words, with self-compassion, but this is not what usually happens. And mm, let me add something here. Sometimes we think or we want to believe that this is how we are talking to ourselves. But if we really are with within ourselves, this is actually not the truth. And this is not how we really talk to ourselves. So, for example, you are just, I don't know, putting some makeup or just getting dressed. OK, and you are looking at you and you are saying, oh, you look fantastic and you are so pretty and you are like handsome, you know, etc., etc. But if you really sit with it, right? And obviously this requires that you have this inner curiosity, you know, to just be more aware of yourself. But behind that, there's actually maybe a fear of what are the others going to think about me? If I don't put this type of dress with me in order to attend to that meeting or what if I don't put any makeup, what are my colleagues going to think about me or my date, you know? So in fact, this is not total acceptance of you and this is not really a nice dialogue with you. You know what I mean, guys, because you are just um, giving the attention to the other. You are just not talking to you like, you know what? You are handsome. You are so pretty. I'm very proud of you. Do you want to put this dress? Great. Do you want to put this uh, jacket? Great. Do you want to wear makeup? Great. You don't want to wear makeup? Great. And that's it, you know? So, but this is even more complicated or more difficult when we have something that we really don't like any less guys because they are not funny okay and most of us think that this is a sort of like our body going against us so again i recommend you to watch what is bio decoding i um I'll, I'll leave actually the link um for, for that one and for the mirrors okay in the description if it's not there in the description um so if you put yourself, like I was saying, you know, as this body entity that is just physical entity, okay, that is just in front of you. And then you observe how you are talking to the body. What are you saying to it? Let's say that you've got arthritis or that you've got muscle pain. I mean, how many of us say, yeah, thank you. 
This is great. Uh, I totally get it why you are here. Uh, stay all that same that you need to stay. Thanks for the message that you are giving to me. Guys, none of us. None of us. I mean, or a few of us, okay? Depending on the work that you are doing, the sessions that you are getting, the therapy that you are that, that you are getting as well. But really, the usual conversation is I don't like you. I hate you. I hate you. Like, how, how could you do this to me? How could you do this, this to me? Like, are you realizing how miserable I am feeling? Like, maybe I'm not even able to go to places because you are here? You know, because maybe my leg uh, is broken? And, and now, you know, uh, maybe I'm an, an athlete and now I'm not even able like to be an athlete anymore? Like, you are a curse? Okay? So... And if you think, would you, how would you feel if someone, like a proper person, was talking to you this way? Like, how would you feel? You know, like, I hate you. Why are you here? Why are... How would you feel, guys? How would you feel? You need to be completely honest. But really, you need to be completely honest and raw with how you are talking to yourself. It doesn't matter if you are verbalizing it. It, you only need to be thinking about that, about anything that is going on within you, okay? So, how do you get to being more kind to you? And I think um, it's, it's not even like a purpose to be grateful to what you have, okay? No, you don't need to be grateful. Why would you be grateful, okay? So, but... The understanding of it, depending on how you left your childhood, okay? So remember, guys, we are not fully developed whatsoever. And maybe you've got these parents, I don't know, hitting you as a child. You, 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 you can't cope with that. You know, you don't even have the consciousness. You don't even have, like, the resources, you know, to even fight back. And, like, would you do it? Because, you know, like, even if you had the consciousness, sometimes um, because of the socialization and what we have been sold and this God that is really bad, oh, you need to honor your parents. Doesn't matter if they are hitting you or not, you know? You need to do that. So no fighting back, no nothing. I'm not saying that you need to fight back. Hopefully you are not in this situation. In case you are, please look out for help, Okay. Uh, but guys, hopefully you know what I mean. So, um, and maybe like it could be like a work thing. Like your boss is like um, criticizing you over and over, not valuing any of the work that you are doing. You know, this is sort of like a hitting, hitting, hitting. And you are just maybe not saying anything. Because maybe you are very scared of what's going to happen if you stand up for yourself. Okay, so this is adulthood and childhood, as, as I was trying to share with you. So what does happen here? Someone is going to rescue you. Who is going to be that? Your body. Your body. Your body wants you to survive. Okay, your body wants to help you. Your body, in fact, your brain is neutral. Meaning what? It doesn't matter if you are nice, not nice, it doesn't matter. It's like a computer, okay? So it has a situation that the message to it is like you are not able to deal with this situation, okay? What does it do? It needs to find a way to deal with it because it wants you to keep surviving. So it needs to find a way. So... This way could be actually um, a stomach ache. You know, let's say that you are having problems with, um, I don't know, your partner. And he or she keeps texting you and texting you. And you really don't want to reply any of that. And all of a sudden, uh, you are just having stomach ache. Okay, I'm not saying that all this works this way and this quick, guys, okay? Just for you to get the message. Well, um, 
Maybe you feel that you are not able to digest what happened and you don't want to answer. Well, what can, what can your body do for you? Maybe it's going to um, give you a stomach ache. Why? Because you are not able to digest that situation. Okay? Once you get the why, not just the why, for what? Your body is manifesting that, you know, you then have more chances to be more understanding with your body and therefore to be more kind. Like, wow, okay, okay, I get it now, yeah, yeah. And obviously then if you need to take medication, if you need to do whatever you need to do, obviously do it. This is just a parallel thing that um, is in the same equation, be equation because we are not separate. Everything is linked, okay? So energy, emotion, trauma, beliefs, thoughts, and body, physical, you know, manifestations, and, and environment. So everything is related. Everything is part of us. But in this case, just talking about the body, right? Okay. Now, what could I do about this situation? How do I feel about this situation? Okay. Uh, what do I need to be aware of in this situation? Especially if my body is giving me this direct message. Now, how can you apply this with things that are even like more uncomfortable or like chronic pain? Well, maybe, guys, because this usually happens with people with chronic pain. You lift over and over and over some traumas or some difficult, really difficult situations in your childhood or in your teenage years, etc., etc., maybe they were repeating it themselves. You really couldn't do anything about that, right? Who was the witness of all them? Your body. So because it was really difficult for you to, to do anything about that, to accept, to deal with it, maybe you were a child, Obviously, you didn't have the consciousness, the resource, your body wasn't even like developed. You know, guys, what I mean? So your body, your cells kept the memory for that, right? So I'm just making this as some examples. If you happen to be obese, okay? And, but let's say that you don't feel happy with it and that you really have this um, love and hate or maybe most of like a hate relationship with your body. If you knew what your body uh, was doing and is doing for you because of what you lived, you wouldn't be telling the things that you are telling to your body. You know, maybe you had to deal with mm, some situations where you, you were really isolated and on your own and you didn't have any help. Okay, and they were like really difficult situations. Or maybe you couldn't like rely on others. And others meaning maybe you're the people who um, had to be the ones looking after you. Okay, and maybe like then you had to protect yourself. Okay, because these are some of the conflicts, conflicts, messages that obesity can have. So when you look at your life, and if you can look at your life yourself, uh, try to think or to see it like if this is someone else's, like if this was one of your friends and one of your friends is telling you, uh, you know, Marta, when I was a child, uh, you know, I had to live through this and through that and through that and through that. And, you know, now I have, you know, this condition in my body. I'm saying obesity, but let's say, I don't know. Mm, hepatitis or knee pain and really anything and you actually understand you know what this person went through and this is why the body is trying to help that person with okay 100% chances that you will not be saying I hate you I hate you or I just don't understand any of this you don't have any right to feel this way, you wouldn't say any of that. You would be actually compassionate. 
or you, or at least you would understand. Okay, right, I see it. I understand that. Um, I want to adhere that you know with therapies such as Baya decoding, uh, we get into the real root of what um, clicked. You know that um, thing within yourselves to manifest something. Okay. And once you have been able to fully feel that, to fully release that, to fully admit that within yourself, that disease, that illness doesn't have to keep expressing in your body anymore, guys, okay? Because this is what you could undo, you know? So this, this is one of the things. But anyway, you will then be saying, you know, you deserve this look at how bad you are, um, yeah, you wouldn't be saying any of that, okay? So, your body, okay, is perfect the way that it is because of the conflicts that you have left, okay? So, I hope, guys, that with this sort of um, explanation, you really are able to at least be more understanding with yourself and be more aware of the way that you are talking to you because no one else is telling you these things hopefully guys okay but no one else I, I, unless you have someone who is then obviously you know you, you know what to do but like you know i hate you blah 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 like and if you have Maybe this could be, as I explained before, you know, projections from your unconscious because everything is here, guys, in the energy field, uh, you know, in the unconscious, everything is here. So, yeah, you will want to be aware of what's going on within you and what is it that you are actually getting in your world, okay? But, body, if you have this understanding... And if you know that this, whatever it is here, it is here for a good reason, um, I'm sure that you won't keep thinking um, that your body is a mistake or that your body is not okay the way that it is. And that you then be more kind to yourself because for your body to express all this, you for sure have had to leave some situations, you know, and I am getting like goosebumps that have been really difficult for you, okay? And that really, you didn't see any solution, you felt alone, you felt helpless, um, you were shocked, so... If, again, if someone is explaining this to you, I'm sure that you would be there for them, you know, one of your friends. And you would be like, whoa, I'm very sorry that you lived all that. This was really hard. Um, I, maybe I can't imagine because I have never lived anything like this. But, you know, guys, um, we are living really difficult and bad situations, okay? So our body is not a mistake. Our body is not trying to go against us. And when you are seeing other people's bodies and people with disabilities or without a hand or, you know, pay attention to what you really are thinking about them, how you are really feeling about them and try not to judge, you know, yourself by any thoughts that you are thinking or that you are having, even if you with yourself are thinking, I hate my body, blah, blah. And now because of this, you are aware that, well, there was and there is a good reason that this thing is there. And you catch yourself saying, oh, now um, I'm hating myself or I am mad at myself because now that I know, I, I realize that I keep criticizing myself and this is not okay. No, guys, you know, observe as well this thought and just decide that you want maybe to choose another one more helpful like okay 
I understand that I have this thought. I have this thought for a long time. Now, I prefer to think, okay, I understand that there is a reason. Maybe I don't know the reason why this is here. I am open to listen, okay? I think the most important thing is just having the intention of I am open to listen because when you are open to listen, you definitely will get the answer. Okay, guys, I hope that this was helpful. I love you. Thank you.